are super excited to be out here supporting this Youth Day Parade. And I feel like if you're not here, the question is why are you not here? It was very important for us to be part of this. Um, I, I think there's over 90 organizations that are supporting this because we want to see change. The numbers of unemployment rates are going up. It's ridiculous. The number of people that are hungry at the moment. And we, we just want to see change. We hear stories of corruption on every single day and we can't, we can't live like this. We've done a lot of research on the state of education in South Africa and the quality still unfortunately is still very poor where schools in South Africa are still broken and unequal. So what we want to see at the end of this, the change that we want to see is that the government of South Africa must change and improve the quality of education in South Africa and also ensure that the infrastructure is addressed so that the youth of 1976, their vision is actually uh, adhered to and that they able, were able to see uh, that dream or uh, finally realize that dream that they had for education in South Africa. Me, for being here, I'm uh, fighting for youth unemployment. As we can see, in our community, there are many young people who are unemployed, who are smoking drugs. So what is important for me is, is that government must help us to decrease this unemployment. But I think importantly, we're here to say that as young people and Despite the major sacrifices that were made by those who came before us, um, our society still remains unfree today. Uh, young people are grappling with a range of different issues from uh, you know, a 65.5% youth unemployment rate for people between the ages of 18 and 24, uh, which is just completely unsustainable, um, as, as well as issues around gender-based violence, um, issues around, uh, you know, xenophobia and queerphobia uh, and other forms of othering and hate. Uh, but of course, also then issues around climate change, uh, the need for free education, the failures with the basic education system, dealing with corruption. Uh, there's just a range of issues that are radicalizing young people. And, and it's evident that these, uh, you know, these unfreedoms in our society are enough and severe enough to bring young people out uh, to make their voices heard and to assert the need for change. <laughs> <laughs>